Hey Technology Crazy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Mac computer, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks slash programs that will help improve your Mac's performance. So we're going to start off with the more commonly well-known tips and tricks just to get those out of the way. And then later on in the video, we'll be showing some more in-depth uh, tips and tricks that not many people know about. Tip number one is keeping your desktop clear. Now, most people actually don't think about this, and to tell you the truth, I didn't think about this for the longest time, but your computer actually uses quite a bit of CPU resources uh, while booting up just to show your icons on your desktop. So by putting it into a separate folder or just by clearing the things off your desktop, you should notice a quite improved boot up time, including the speed uh, when you're actually using your computer. Now, it won't be gigantic, but it is something that you want to keep in mind. Tip number two is managing your startup items. And once again, this is a very common, uh, well-known tip. So to find it, you just go into System Preferences under Users, under Login Items, and this will show you all the programs that boot up when your computer boots up. So uh, just simply go through it and look at all the applications and try to remove all the ones you don't need. So uh, just by selecting it and pressing the little minus sign. Do not uncheck mark it because this has no effect. Uh, all this says is hide this program when it boots up. So if I were to uncheck this, um, Dropbox would actually show on my screen when it starts up and this will just hide it. So that actually doesn't stop it from running. You actually have to press the little minus button. Now if you want to add a program, you can press the plus button and find that program or script and it will boot up with your computer. The next tip is cleaning up your hard drive or SSD. Now most people think of this as more of a maintenance thing, but the truth is it will actually impact the speed of your machine. And there's a number of reasons for that. Number one being that Mac will actually use any extra space on your hard drive. Uh, and this is your boot up hard drive as a temporary place to store files. So it'll sort of act like RAM. Uh, it's not exactly like RAM, but it will store files there and it will speed up your computer, especially if you have less than 5% space on your hard drive open. Uh, then you'll definitely notice a very big uh, performance decrease. So there's a number of ways of opening up space on your hard drive, and I'll show you a few different programs that will help with that. Now the two programs I suggest you guys go and check out are iBoostUp and Magician, and they're both free applications, and they do pretty much the exact same thing. They find all the files on your computer that you don't need and delete them. So if we go here, we can do quick scan, start a scan, and it will find all the files. Oftentimes it will find files that you didn't even know existed, and pulls it into one place where we can press clean now and it will delete all those files all at once. So you can see that it found 2.2 gigabytes of files uh, and it basically frees up some space on your hard drive. There's also some really cool tools here that will, they're just nice to have, including disk usage, which you can see all the different folders on your computer and you can see which folders are taking up the most space and delete them that way. Magician does the very similar thing. Um, you can start scans, you do all the different types of stuff. It also has some really cool tools and it also allows you to monitor which applications are taking the most um, processing power and all that stuff. Uh, another really cool application is Disk Inventory X. It does the exact same thing as these ones, but it's all manual. I found that it's a little bit more cool because what it actually does is it actually builds up a visual of your hard drive. So you can see here that it actually visualizes that, um, my, that my QuickTime files are taking up a large percentage of my computer. And you can actually click on those different blocks and it will show you where the files are and you can delete them like that. A nice little test to see how much the files are actually affecting your user is just to make another user and log into that user instead and see if your computer is really fast. If it is, that means that the files are slowing it down and you might want to look at deleting most of them or even doing a system rebuild. Another thing I would suggest is monitoring your activity monitor to see how much your programs are actually using. So you can look for activity monitor in the search or I can just uh, open it up here, I have it on my dock, and it will show you all the applications that are running and you can actually order it by CPU percentage usage uh, if you want. Now it also shows your CPU, your system memory, your disk activity, your disk usage, and your network. So some useful information right there. I would also suggest repairing your disk permissions. So uh, I would suggest going up and looking up disk utility, opening it up, finding your primary hard drive and pressing repair disk permissions. This will help up speed up boot time as well as to make sure your computer runs and doesn't crash. Now another really big thing is disabling dashboards. So Apple has this really nice beautiful looking widgets thing here that I don't use and I don't know if anyone that does use. And it actually does use quite a bit of system resources in the background that we don't even use. So we can just disable it. So to do that you can open up terminal. Uh, you just look it up here and open it up. And there's a command. I'll put the command in the links in the description um, so you can just copy and paste it. It's simply that, and then we all we have to do is restart the dock. So to do that, we can do kill all capital D O C K, uh, and if we do that, we can notice 
that dashboard is completely disabled. Now there's also a command for re-enabling it, and I'll stick that in the description as well, so just make sure you bookmark this video, favorite it, or do whatever you want, so you can always come back and re-enable it if you ever want to, for whatever reason. Another thing you can do to speed up your computer is to disable icon previews. So to do that, you just right click on your desktop, do show view options, and just make sure that show icon preview is unchecked. And basically that will do is just show the type of file instead of showing the preview, which will save uh, save system resources trying to cache all those, um, those previews. Now another thing you can do is disable Windows animations. Now to do that, you just right click on the dock, dock preferences, Make sure Genie Effect is switched to Scaled Effect and also uncheck Animate Opening Applications. Now, this will make a little bit of a difference, especially when you're minimizing and unminimizing applications, but especially on newer Macs, uh, you won't notice a big difference. Now, another thing you want to do is make sure that your browser is up to date. Now, usually Safari and Chrome are fastest on Mac. Um, generally, Firefox is pretty slow on Mac and actually eats up system resources. So if you're using Firefox, uh, try to switch over to Safari or Chrome. Now, if you want to improve your internet speed, I actually did a video a while back on how to do that on Windows and Mac by changing the DNS. Uh, and it actually does affect your internet quite a bit. So if you want to go and check that out, click on the video on your screen right now. Anyways, I guess that concludes this video. Please leave comments below if this helped you, or if you have any other ideas, please leave comments below to share with others. Anyways, I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.